Oh, what the heck? So, got this fluorescent light up here. It's supposed to come on automatically when you walk in to the entranceway. And I had replaced these bulbs probably less than a year ago and uh, I had just installed it a year before that and now it doesn't work again. And now I checked already to make sure that there's power getting to this circuit and there is. So I know it's not a fuse, it's not the wiring. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure it's not these bulbs, but the other thing that's in here in a fluorescent light is this, called this ballast. And, oh, I didn't know a whole lot about ballasts at all until I got started on here. Let me just show you something. So every ballast is different. It drives different size bulbs, number of bulbs. This one in particular, uh, and then there's different types of ballasts too. This one in particular is for, I know it's upside down, I'm sorry. For two 17 watt T7s. And if you look at these bulbs, I believe the T7 part is the type of connector in the end. And then the 17 watt obviously is how many watts it is. You can see this is a 17 F17 T8. All right, so I got this light fixture. I just took it down so I can see what I'm doing and make it easier. So this ballast, like I was saying, um, is specifically made for this size light bulb. I thought I was clever and I just went and I bought another um, fluorescent light for 11 bucks and thought I could harvest the ballast out of that one, but um, that wasn't going to work for this one and and it's a good thing that it didn't because I'll tell you why this one as you can see um, if you can see that it says it's a rapid start ballast and that isn't what I need for the kind of switch that I have I figure because this is connected to the door we all go in and out of all day long it probably turns on and off 20 times a day and a rapid start ballast is not the kind of ballast that you want to use if your fluorescent lamp is turning on and off frequently throughout the day. So when I realized I had bought the wrong size ballast at Menards, I came up here to Amazon, typed in uh, F18T8 ballast, and I just you know, looked around and basically sort of just picked the cheapest one, something like this, um, ordered it, and then I started to think, wait a minute, I went back and looked, and I saw this one is an instant start, and I guess I didn't know exactly what that was, so went to Wikipedia, looked under electrical ballast, and um, down here it's got a section on fluorescent lamp ballasts and it shows the the different types. There's uh, instant start, rapid start, dimmable ballast, program start, and hybrid. I just read about what an instant start does uh, versus a rapid start. Um, but the one thing that I picked up on here is that um, instant start uh, yields the fewest lamp start cycles um, as materials blasted from the surface of the cold electrodes each time the lamp is turned on. The instant start ballasts are best suited to applications with long duty cycles where lamps are not frequently turned on and off. That's like the opposite of what I was using it for. But this is what I do need. A program start ballast um, and they talk about it but it, the lamp life typically operates up to a hundred thousand on off cycles when using program start ballasts so uh, and then they say this is a type um, that's preferred for very frequent power cycling such as vision examination rooms and restrooms with motion detector switch which is exactly what I have so I knew that I needed a program start so I you know quickly went back to Amazon and I, I canceled that order what I needed to search for then was a programmed
start and that gave me a number of options this is what I ended up with um, in uh, a GE and the Robertson version says that it's uh, the equivalent to that GE but the thing that I noticed on this if you look down in the specs it's here someplace um, but I think you actually have to go into the PDF um, it's only rated to five uh, 50,000 cycles oh yeah here it is it's on it's on this sheet um, and the GE version is rated to a hundred thousand cycles so you know, that's why I picked the GE version this is a GE it says it's specifically made for two F17 T8s you can see the original ballast had uh, four blues two reds and a yellow that come off of it and the uh, power input is just a black and a white um, the one that I got has the black and the white in but then it's got two reds two yellows and two blues uh, and it it has a wiring diagram here but the uh, the wiring is going to be well totally different I guess than the one that's in there and probably different than the one that you end up getting so um, I'm not going to show how to do that but just follow the wire diagram and you'll be fine all right something handy I discovered is that these things if you squeeze them they will go down you kind of have to bend them to get around and you can get them out and then they actually have these little quick clips and you can stick your wires there's two for each one so I'm gonna just cut the old ones uh, and stick the new ones just push right in there and they'll stay hey it's not as instant on as it used to be but if it lasts a hundred thousand cycles I'm good with that